NBA draft. Here's a little bit of a mock draft, and you might not like this order. I'm just confused about who they think is the best player in it. Got number one, this is CBS's mock, LaMelo Ball, point guard, going to the Warriors. And number two, OB Toppin, power forward, going to the Cavs. Number three, Anthony Edwards, shooting guard to the Pistons. James Wiseman, center, fourth pick, going to the Wolves. Denny Avedia, small forward, going to the Hawks. Now, maybe the, your top guy isn't even named. I, I don't know. But who who's the best player in this draft? Because when I speak to other people or just casual conversations, I get a lot of different opinions. But I had to speak to the sports expert on this, the basketball expert. Yeah, man, I, I think it just kind of really all depends on what you're looking for. Uh, this is one of the quote-unquote worst drafts. Uh, that we've seen in a while and that we will see going forward because there are so many good upcoming drafts and talent and guys that can contribute right away in the near future. But I think this is just more so one to where it's really based on your need. And I know a lot of people probably throw that around a little bit too often to say, you know, based on, you know, draft need or, or best available player and things like that. Um, but I think that there's an asterisk and or red flags to each of these players where you have somebody like a LaMelo Ball who, you know, we saw back when he was, what, like a sophomore or junior, something like that in high school. He put up like 90 points and was cherry picking the whole game and just turn around three point fadeaways and things like that. Now, granted, his game has matured a lot more since then. Um, however, we haven't really had the opportunity to see him play up against some of the best players on that elite level because following that, he homeschooled for a little while. Then he played at Spire Academy, which is okay, I guess. Then you go overseas and play. Uh, and I know that a lot of people may feel a way uh, as to, you know, hey, he's playing against grown men, but sometimes it's questionable. What grown men? 37% from the field over there doesn't look nearly as good. But he has intangibles, much like uh, the Ant-Man, Anthony Edwards, things that you can't teach where you might have a LaMelo ball who has the length, who has um, the IQ, the passing ability, things like that, and the size. You have a guy like uh, Anthony Edwards who has a lot of the same things, but flipped in a sense where you have the physicality, you have uh, the athleticism, uh, you have you know the NBA build, the NBA body. You know, he's, he's, his, his lower exterior and his upper body is, is, is pretty equal and reminds a lot of people of your James Hardens and your, uh, your, 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 your Victor Oladipos and Dwayne Wade. Those are just two guys, you know, but I, I think he needs to probably develop a little bit more in terms of, and this is me speaking on, um, on Anthony Edwards now, uh, more so uh, from a maturation standpoint. Um, but then you have Obi Toppin, who I really don't think is going to be that great of a pro. He reminds me of a guy who played at Michigan State years ago, Adrian Payne, more of like a stretch four. He is athletic, but I think he took advantage this year in college basketball as being one of the older players in the game. Uh, James Wiseman is good, but while so many people consider him much like a more athletic Chris Bosh, he also reminds me of a top three draft pick in Hashim Tabit from Connecticut close to about 10 years ago. So it really is not necessarily about who the best player is because they all play so different. And I'm sorry for getting long with it, but to bring it around full circle, it really, really is going to be about the draft need. Speaking of needs, the, the Hawks, what would be a good fit for the Hawks moving forward? We know they're building young with Trey Young and... Hunter and Cam Reddish and Herter. This is a, it's a very young team. What player would be a great fit for the Hawks? This player may not necessarily be taken that early in the top five. I've seen a lot of draft boards projected and mock drafts that have them slated eight and lower. Um, but I, I truly do believe that that player is Vernon Carey. Uh, the center from Duke who has really good size on him as well reminds me a lot of a player who played for Duke the last time they won a national championship in 2005 Jalil Okafor while he's not overly athletic while he's you know, maybe not the most ideal player in a pick and roll situation and it may look like his style of play and his game is more suited for the NBA 10 plus years ago I still think that you can 
certainly develop him into the piece that you will need when it's not just pick and roll. They have some of those players between John Collins already, Clint Capella already, that they can exercise in that pick and roll situation. And while he's not necessarily it being Vernon Carey, I do like him in that spot. But first things first, if I'm the Atlanta Hawks, what I'm doing is I'm sitting back, I'm putting that pick on ice, I'm holding on to it until the draft starts rolling around and one of these silly GMs have their eyes set on one particular guy and they're targeting him like nobody else's business and, 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 you know, they're trying to figure out how they can go and get that particular player. I'm holding on to that draft pick like a carrot hanging over the heads if I'm the Atlanta Hawks because of the simple fact that this is a team that you don't necessarily want to get younger with. You want to get older. Uh, so that's when I would probably, my first option in the front office as the Atlanta Hawks. I think that, I, that That's a great take. I haven't heard anybody say that yet, but that's very interesting. Glad you brought that up. Since there's so many different players and you consider no real, like, great, great player or superstar like like it was last draft with Zion Williamson and this draft isn't that hyped up but what player or or is the national media not talking about right now that is really good and deserves some love and we probably should be talking about I think that there's Okay, appreciate it. Basketball expert Deshaun Tate. Follow him on Facebook, Deshaun Tate. His Twitter, Tate's Take Hoops, and his Instagram, Tate's Take Hoops. Thank you, man, for joining me and giving me your insight and breaking it down. Put a new perspective in my head. And obviously, for Hawks fans who shoot, a lot of them don't know what the hell they, they need to do in this upcoming draft. So appreciate it for that perspective, man. No doubt. That's what I'm here for, man. Be sure to follow the Tate's Take podcast as well. The podcast that is anywhere that you find podcasts t-a-t-e apostrophe s t-a-k-e where basketball lives anywhere you find podcasts apple Podcasts, google Podcasts, uh spotify red circle the whole nine looking forward to doing this with you again sometime jay now thank you man appreciate it appreciate it